I'm writing a piece for Exaudi. It's a group that I've been working with almost since the very beginning of, of the group, but never as a composer. I've done all sorts of things with the group, but write them a piece. Um, and this was the perfect chance to, um, to try and put some funding behind a, a possible project that would, that would make it happen. One of the things that's unique about, about this piece, um, I'm working with a tablature notation. Um, so I'm not dealing with, with pitches, um, which means working with voices becomes something completely different. Normally a, a composer would be worried about available ranges, how high or low an individual singer can sing. Here actually the notation in a sense kind of comes to, to them. It specifies um, all of the physiological aspects of, of vocal sound production. Mouth shape, tongue position, uh, the position of the, uh, of the glottis, how closed or open it is, how breathy the sound is, how much air pressure there is in the sound. It could potentially not, not work. It's not like writing a piece where you know the notation, you know how the notation's going to work, you know yeah, the sense of what the, uh, what the sounds are going to be, and then it's just a, a question of craft. Um, this is actually like inventing the craft along the way. And it's important for me to have the, the timbre of each individual voice in, in, my, in my ear as, as I'm working. Um, and some of that is also ab about my relationship with the group. There's been some turnover in the nearly 10 years that I've, that I've known them. Um, but there are some voices that I've known for, for 10 years that I, you know, I know really well. I'm really excited to get to um, make those voices sound like I, wa I want them to sound. There's a lot that I, that I know about, about the piece. Um, and there's a lot that I don't know about the piece now. Um, it, it's, um, I, to be perfectly candid, it's, it's a little frightening um, to, to be you know, inching towards a very strict deadline. Um, and and I, there's a lot left to do. I'm constantly writing from the beginning to the end over and over and over again and pulling closer and closer to the surface. So there's no um, complete detail that ever appears until the final pass, the identity of the piece suddenly kind of emerges once, once the sounds are, are real rather than um, rather than imagined um, when they get out of my head. <laughs> I'm most l looking forward to working with these people. Um, I, I, these, are, these are singers and, and James, the, the conductor as well. These are people who I really respect and I really like. I find um, the physicality of music making really important. I've, I've never thought about music as being a, a, a sonic um, a sonic art form. I, I think of it as, as being a, a really visceral art form. Music making and, and, and art making is being about asking questions um, and that it's a kind of process of, of, of discovery for me rather than, um, oh, I don't know, rather than um, showing how good I am at this. Um, instead, it's a kind of question of um, what might be possible, which for me is way more interesting.